50 years ago today, Apollo 11 was in lunar orbit, preparing to land the first man on the moon. Watched by people all over the globe, it remains one of the most awe-inspiring moments in human history. Our innovation correspondent Laura Goodwin reports on how Scotland marked the moon landings and on our astronomical ambition for the future. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. If, like millions of others around the world, you were lucky enough to have watched the moon landing as it happened, it's a moment in history, no doubt forever etched in your memory. Among those watching were Ken and Marjorie McFarlane from Perthshire. For them, the moon landing could have eclipsed another big event in their lives. The fact that our wedding was coinciding with this wonderful uh, world-shattering news was quite amazing. We all gathered were in the lounge and watched this grainy picture, black and white, on the television. We all gathered around that to watch these men taking the first steps on the moon. It was really quite exciting. And it all happened on our honeymoon. <laughs> Gee, you look great. You feel as good as oh, you look. You great. feel just perfect, Mr. Yeah. President. Yeah. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins became superstars. And in 1972, Scotland decided to claim Armstrong as one of their own. Langham in Dumfries and Galloway, the traditional seat of Clan Armstrong, invited him to become a freeman of the town and he accepted. I, Neil Alden Armstrong, promise and swear that I shall be a true and faithful burgess of the borough of Langham. That I shall be a true and faithful burgess of the Borough of Langham. Today, over 7,500 people are employed in the space industry here in Scotland, with ambitious plans to build a spaceport based in Sutherland. Star Dundee make data handling technology for spacecraft, some of which is currently on a seven-year mission to Mercury. What would be your prediction for the Scottish space sector within the next, say, 20 years? I think it can grow phenomenally. Um, the spaceport opportunity is, is so exciting. Um, when something like that happens in Scotland, it, it will inspire so many young people, not just to come and, and work for companies like ours, but also to start up their own companies. 50 years on from the moon landing, and Scotland now has a far larger interest in any future space exploration, no longer content to watch from afar. In fact, it's highly likely that when we next go to the moon, Technology pioneered here in Scotland could well be on board. Laura Goodwin, Reporting Scotland.